guys today we are going to discuss about VR ops quite a lot of people have liked the video about uh, we realize operations manager which I have done previously and um, as you all might know that uh, few months ago VMware has released a newer version of VR ops it's uh, version 8.01 it has quite a lot of new features um, so this is my lab and what we are going to do is we are going to deploy VR ops so we'll select deploy OVF template once we select that we'll select local file I have already downloaded it from the VMware website which I have shown you just now the version which I have got is we realize operation manager 8.0 Point one, which is the latest one it's available on downloads folder and you can select the OVF here as you can see it's downloaded today it's the latest version it's nearly 2.5 gig let's select that click on next select the data center you want to deploy it in uh, I'll select management class management folder as well we'll deploy it on the new ESX server which is a new new Intel NUC which I have got now it will pull up more details here to configure the application so we'll be punching the IP address and stuff so as you can see size on disk is nearly around 1 gig if we think provision it it's going to be 200 something which is um, massive overhead really um, so what we are going to do is we are going to click on next um, and again this is running on Photon OS version 3 so VMware has rewritten these these applications were running on Suzy Linux before. I have accepted the terms and conditions in the previous screen. Should have asked you guys. So they go that's how just select accept terms and conditions, which is all here. Click on next. Now, as I was saying earlier, VMware VR Ops has an um, analytical node and a data node. So we can basically configure a cluster of your ops and also we can configure if you have a larger environment you can configure uh, remote collectors what we need to remember is based on your environment you need to deploy uh, use the deployment type even a small instance does take up a lot of memory and cpu so four cpus and 16 gig memory uh, but it does more you know mo monitor 3500 um, virtual machines if we jump to medium it goes in between 3500 to 11000 virtual machines but the cpu has gone up to 8 and 32 gb memory okay and the large instance goes above 11000 virtual machines however it needs 16 gig uh, 16 virtual cpus and 48 gig memory um, and there is another instance of extra large which basically allows you from 20,000 to 45,000 virtual machines with uh, a CPU configuration of 24 vCPUs and 128 memory, 128 GB memory. Now, as I mentioned before, we can configure a witness uh, server, which, uh, well, I've mentioned about uh, remote collectors as a standard remote collectors, which is uh, two cpus and four gig memory and a large one which is four cpus and 16 gig memory the remote collectors doesn't need any storage at all because they are going to be very lightweight uh, they are just going to collect the data and send it to the um, yeah they're going to just uh, collect the data and send it to the uh, other servers uh, which will be the analytical and the data nodes Over here we will be using extra small because it's going to be 2 virtual CPU and 8 gig memory. Select that and click on next. We will be using this drive. We'll disable DRS and select where I want to 
install it. We'll be configuring the IP address next. We'll select GMT. Default gateway in my environment is 192.168.1.1. Domain name so Domain name is agileops.co.tk. Again, agileops. One ninety two dot one sixty eight dot one dot seventy two is my DNS, and the IP address for this appliance will be one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot one dot one forty. Then we'll be giving the net mask, which is slash twenty four. And the supported guys. If we click next, it's the summary page what we have selected, and um, as you can see, is okay. There you go. I didn't change that. Let me go back and quickly change it. So we'll be selecting thin provision baby zero and the supported. So I said I do not want to have it as a thick provision. So that's a good thing about this summary page. You can select what you want. Click on finish. So if you like this video, please feel free to subscribe, comment on below, and let me know if you have any questions. Um, as you can see, it has been the deployment process has been started. It's deployed 35%. <laughs>